and mental health matters. In the wake of the brain drain syndrome being experienced in Nigeria, the country has continued to record landmark clinical procedures and treatment in a variety of medical and surgical specialties. This is evident in the successful completion of two complex pediatric surgery operations in children aged 12 years and 5 months old respectively by the Duchess Hospital in Lagos. Addressing the feat in a press conference, the hospital says a combined team of cardiac surgeons, cardiac anesthetists, specialized theater nurses, perfusionist and intensive care specialist led by Dr. Onyekwelo Nzewi and Professor Bode Falashi successfully performed an aortic root replacement for an unusually large aneurysm of the ascending aorta in Precious Kolajo, a young girl aged 12 years old. Similarly, a five-month-old infant was successfully operated upon to close a large congenital ventricular septal defect. Commenting on this landmark achievement, the CEO of the hospital, Dr. Adeto Kumbo Shita Bey, said the two patients who have survived complex surgical procedures and can return to their normal lives are a fitting testament to the excellent facilities and skilled personnel in Nigeria. He spoke alongside others. They come in when they have heart problems, they have failure, but their heart failure is not the same as an adult that can complain, what happens is that they they start breathing fast, they cannot feed properly. Feeding takes um, a lot of energy. So that sucking, they don't they're using all their energy to breathe and to manage the heart failure. So they, they don't feed well, they fall asleep while feeding, they breathe fast and um, they very irritable, they don't gain weight. Um, we have a responsibility, a direct responsibility to pass on the benefits to the consumers. Uh, the reason this is called the Duchess International Hospital is because Nigerian patients are worth it. It's a royal standard of healthcare. Anywhere in the world, you do not have a smidgen of a chance of solving the healthcare problems of the population if you cannot make it affordable. And that certainly is a responsibility that big and robust organizations like this must take to heart. Okay, um, thank you. I will start by giving kudos to my wife because she was sensitive and observant in all to observe some anomalies from the child's, uh, from, from cradle to be precise, because immediately after two weeks of the birth, she called my attention to some, to feel some difficulties in breathing, and there is this uh, kind of um, indentation below the ribs like this that really calls for attention, and we went to the hospital where she was given birth to, and they, they recommended the state for about Three months, say it is possible the baby has grown it. And the, as our father, the chairman of Right Foods Limited, he came through for us. He said, Okay, he recommended Duchess. He said, The best place, as far as it's concerned, to take this baby for a compounded uh, surgery like this is so Duchess. That was a machine to normally to check the blood coagulation. It goes for about a thousand pounds. That was as then. We are not talking of the current exchange rate. So we approached them, we said, we don't have fund for this. And they gave us free of charge. They booked it, they ordered it from UK, and they gave us free of charge. So we don't pay for that now. We only run the test at two, at two.